What would happen if I was in control of a nuclear power plant? Not good things. Not good things. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to City Smash. So you guys told me in the comments that City Smash had a big new update. I think there's a nuclear power plant map and a bunch of new weapons. Let's check it out. So here we are in the original city. If I check out the maps, there is, there is a new one. Wait, let me click down here. Oh, I got it. Really? You're gonna give me an advertisement? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not only a nuclear power plant. It is like the world's biggest nuclear power plant. This is amazing. Like, look how big those giant smokestacks are compared to the trucks that- Okay, I, I'm in love with this already. I want to check out some of the new weapons too. I don't know what they are. I'm pretty sure these are all the same. I'm pretty sure those are all the same. I'm pretty sure those are all the same. Those are all the same. Oh, there's a balloon. Okay, they added a balloon. Really? We are at a nuclear power plant. The, the, the previous weapons were like nukes and, and natural disasters and alien invasions. And you're going to add a darn balloon? Well, we're going to come back to that later. And, uh, ooh, I think this might be new. Was I, was I able, I can't even speak. I'm so excited to play this game. Was I ever able to make mountains in this game? Actually, wait, I think we were. Yeah, yeah, wait, let me try this really quickly. If I make a, ma oh man. Oh, oh, that's a small problem. Okay, note to self, if I ever become in control of a nuclear power plant, do not make a giant mountain in the middle of it. Yeah, you're gonna set it on fire. And uh, again, I'm not a science expert, I don't think you want nuclear power plants on fire. Okay, we're trying this again. So if you guys want to see more City Smash on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe right now. Thank you for telling me about this update. I didn't know it was updated, so now I know it's updated, so thank you. All right, let's move on. So we're just going to start. Basically, my goal today is to cause a nuclear meltdown and, you know, blow up planet Earth like I always do. That's my goal. We're going to see what we can do to make the nuclear power plant go into meltdown mode. So apparently making a mountain through the middle doesn't do it. It did make it on fire, but it didn't blow up. All right, here we go. So we're going to drop a missile right on the middle. Uh, okay, I forgot to drop the actual missile. Uh, we're gonna make it... I, I don't know how strong to make this. I don't even know how high it goes. How high does it go? It goes to 150. All right, so let's make it a, a 70. And the blast radius goes up to 100. So, you know, we're gonna make the blast radius 40. All right, that seems perfect. Drop missile! Okay, I might have made that a little too strong. Looking back, maybe I made that a little too strong. Okay, it still didn't cause a nuclear meltdown, though. Guys, let me know in the comments, how can I make this nuclear power plant explode into a mushroom cloud? We're going to figure that out at the end of the video. Oh, okay, I kind of want to try that with the strongest missile. Like, let me try this again. Also, why am I calling it a missile? It's a missile. So if I make this 150 and I make this 100... I mean, I don't know how it could get any stronger than it already was, but here we go! My goodness gracious! Okay, things are just flying around. There's pieces of metal that are... Look at that one uh, stick floating in mid-air right now. It's slowly making its way back down to the rub... Oh, now it's back in the air. Okay, I don't know why there is just a, a, a metal bar floating in mid-air, but we're not gonna ask those questions. Okay, it's just, it just left now. It left the scene of the crime. Okay, um, that was, uh concerning is the word that's popping in my mind that that's what's coming in my mind concerning scary terrifying any of those things okay we're gonna move on what else can i do as a weapon uh well first thing let's let's reset the nuclear power plant oh we didn't name the nuclear power plant i mean i am the owner of this establishment which i've already blown up two times on this video what should i name it we're gonna name it the, uh, the frustrated power plant. I don't know, guys. You know that I'm not good at coming up with names, but you keep asking me to... What was that? I, 
I didn't even do anything this time. I literally don't even have a weapon selected. I think that was a car accident. These two bozos t decided to run into each other right outside of a nuclear power plant. I, I can't think of a worse spot to get into a car accident uh, other than outside of a nuclear power plant. Okay, now my ear is itchy. I I'm a mess right now. Okay, I just got back from my wedding. I told you guys I had a honeymoon I in Hawaii. We had a fantastic time. I'm trying to get back on my feet, okay? Oh, also, on my other channel, TFG Vlogs, the wedding video is now out. So if you want to see everything about my wedding and my honeymoon, go over to TFG Vlogs after this video and watch that vlog. I think it came out funny. Okay, the missiles and the bombs and that kind of stuff didn't work. So let's move over to natural disasters. If I, should I do a tornado or a volcano? Let's do both at the same time. We're going to spawn a tornado right there and a volcano right there. And oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we've got a tornado volcano at the same time. And it's completely destroying the frustrated power plant right now. I paid good money for that. I pay. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of lava balls. I, you know what? I told you I visited Hawaii. We actually visited a volcano. I didn't see any lava balls anywhere, but okay. We've got floating metal again. All right, let's move on. What would happen if a tornado actually did hit a nuclear power plant in real life? Like, do they purposely build them in places where there aren't tornadoes? Or if there was a tornado, would there be a nuclear meltdown that would blow up planet Earth? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there was another car accident. Why do these trucks keep running into each other? I'm trying to talk to my fans over here and my subscriber. Okay, you know what? We're moving on to the next category. Uh, earthquake, nah. We're going to move on to uh, a an asteroid. Yep, it's going to be an asteroid that falls from the sky. It's as strong as humanly possible. And it vaporized it. It literally vaporized the frustrated, uh, what's it called again? The frustrated power plant. That was it. Uh, still no nuclear meltdown, by the way. I'm still waiting for my nuclear meltdown, but no, that didn't work. Okay, is there a way that I can, like, fix things? Like, I know in Solar Smash now, they have the, 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 the nuke, the, the healing nuke, right? You, 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 you put it down and it heals everything. That's why it's called a healing nuke. I don't think they have that in this game yet. All right, uh, moving on to the next category. Oh, it's the monster category. That's fantastic. Keep in mind, there is the new weapon. It's the balloon weapon. Sounds like a strange weapon to me. But we're going to be trying that at the end of the video. Ah, uh, ooh, let's go with the, uh, let's go with the the, 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 the octopus, Godzilla, and the space worm dude. Yep, that seems like a good thing to spawn in all three of them at the same time. If one's not going to do it, three of them surely will. So far, they're not doing anything useless. Godzilla is still in a bad mood for eating spicy hot sauce. Okay, you know what? You guys didn't even blow up the entire power plant. I mean, I spawned in a, a, a darn asteroid, a, a, a missile that was the size of my nose, and blew everything up. But, but I spawned in Godzilla, the world's biggest space worm, and a floating octopus. And you guys didn't even blow up the entire power plant. That You should be ashamed of yourselves. Moving on to the next category. We're going to skip the balloon for now, but we will be back to that. Let's go alien spaceship. And yeah, you guys actually, you know what? No, we're not going to. No. Oh, no. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to spawn him in. I didn't mean to spawn. Okay. That was the worst weapon ever. That has got to be the world's worst alien. I've never met an alien. I don't know if you know if aliens have ever made it to planet Earth. Maybe they have. Maybe. You know what? These darn car accidents. They're scary. They're, they're literally startling me every single time. Trucks keep running into each other. They are so uh, enamored with the frustrated power plant. It's a beautiful piece of, uh, of artwork. And they just keep running into each other. All right, let's make this let's make this alien a little bit stronger. So the explosion force was very strong. The problem is the blast radius wasn't wide enough. So let's go with a 21 blast radius, 3, 2, 1, spawn in the alien, ET phone home, and wow, that is so much different. How do you go from before, it was like a fly landing on my nose, and then that's what happens next. I mean, things are Flying in the air. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm upset right now. Yep, you guys have officially upset me. Which, considering my name, the Frustrated Gamer, really isn't that hard to do. I, I get upset from everything in video games. Alright, we're gonna move back here. It, 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 nothing has caused it. 
these darn car accidents, man. If they scare me with a car accident again, I'm gonna... I don't know, probably do nothing about it. All right, so, so far, I have not caused a nuclear... Uh, I can't even talk. I haven't caused a nuclear meltdown yet, and I'm upset about it. So, I'm just gonna spawn in a nuke, which I know will cause a nuclear meltdown, okay? D guys, please, uh, never put a nuclear bomb on a nuclear power plant. Actually, what if they just cancel each other out? Yeah, that's science, right? You just, you, you put a nuke on a nuclear power plant, and it just turns into, uh, water. Yep, that's to, that's totally what's gonna happen right here. Totally what's gonna happen. It's all just gonna turn into water. That's not water. Well, I got my nuclear meltdown, okay? So really, the only thing left to do is test out what this darn balloon weapon is. So I'm gonna wait for this mushroom cloud to, uh, you know, run its course and, uh, beautiful. All right, now, uh, the explosion's gone. Now we've just got, uh, man-eating radiation that's consumed uh, most of this state. All right, let's move on. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. We've used nukes. We've used aliens. We've used bombs. But you guys are looking forward to a balloon. I, I don't even know what this is going to do. Okay, let's just spawn it in. It's a... It was a balloon. That was the innovative new update that you guys spawned out of your noggin. Wait, let me try to put it a little bit lower. Okay, it... Okay, so it gets in people's way. Oh, can I just, like, spawn it a... Okay, I'm starting to learn! I'm st oh my gosh, my nuclear power plant is just flying away. It's just flying away. Oh, now it exploded somehow. Now it just spontaneously exploded. Things are getting ripped apart. I never thought that I would be able to cause a nuclear meltdown using balloons. Rainbow balloons, much less. Oh, this is a problem. Yep, I have completely destroyed my nuclear power plant with uh, rainbow balloons. Hit that subscribe button and remember, go over to TFG Vlogs. It's my other YouTube channel. Watch the wedding vlog right now and I will see all of you in the next video.